and that we, that we determine how to teach our children. We have the freedom to teach our children and an environment that is free of any other influence because we'll pick what's best for our kids. And what about Jonathan brought this up earlier. So even though you're homeschooling your kids, do you need tax free? Because you're still paying them your homeschooling tax. Because right? I'm 16 now. You can no tax free. And, and that's okay because you know we realize that that's okay. Everyone knows the right things are. But I mean, we we choose things. We try to stay, you know, uh, in budget and affordable. And a lot of uh, homeschool families are really just making it on one family income, and um, and they're doing it and they're choosing. And that's a sacrifice. That's a sacrifice that they make for their children to have, you know, what we feel is a superior education because you really can't beat. Like I said again, one to one. That is huge odds against anybody saying, well, ooh, here's a teacher with this background, and she's got 30 kids. This is my kid. I'm going to be sure he knows what he needs to know. So absolutely, if you want to take the kid and get him tested, they can be tested. You can do any of those things that you want to do. So that's, that's another thing. Last thing I'm going to ask yes. is, since you teach this about the things that you need to know, yes. what is the biggest question that you get from people who are interested? Socialization and curriculum. I say the biggest. I mean, those two really go up there because curriculum is really viewed like the hallmark of a new homeschool. Or, you know, we're beginning to homeschool where to start, but curriculum it just abounds in the homeschool community. I mean, there's so much of it. There's no need to not be armed and equipped with what you need to know when you start homeschooling. So we have so much of it. The socialization, they just don't realize there's football teams, there's basketball, there's choir. My kids did 4-H, we did ballroom dancing, we did Spanish, we did a Latin co-op, we did a history co-op, and we took field trips every month. Public school, they take field trips like when the kids are a little like first grade, second grade, after that they might keep some more so they don't do field trips. We took field trips sometimes twice a month all the way up to high school. So that's how we are. We want to get out and experience the world and be with it, see it, and feel it, and touch it, and dance it. And we did history reenactments. We did those things too. We learned about Native Americans. We sewed costumes. I made teepees. We had many beautiful feasts. We have thoroughly enjoyed every bit of learning. And they're going to continue learning for lifelong. They should be excited and stoked about learning. They shouldn't just be so much roger. Honey, we did this finished. So we have thoroughly enjoyed every bit of the journey. Thank you so much, well, thank Tina. You. I have learned time to that your kids will not be so <laughs>